Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain PI controller with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, I will discuss about basics, output, block diagram, transfer function, physical understanding, significance, pros and cons of PI controller. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of PI controller. Here we have been given with standard closed loop control system where input is R of S, output is C of S and here we have feedback and feedback signal is F of S. This adder is generating error signal E of S. This error signal is R of S minus F of S. And this error signal that we give it to controller and controller is generating controlled signal that is M of S and this controlled signal that we give it to plant or system. Here our controller is PI controller. PI controller is a combination of proportional and integral controller. Now I will derive transfer function of PI controller. We will be connecting PI controller over here in standard second order system. So first of all, let me derive transfer function of PI controller. PI controller is a combination of proportional and integral controller. So here input to PI controller is error signal and output of PI controller is controlled signal. You can observe with controller input is error signal and output is controlled signal. In case of PI controller, here we have proportional and integral controller. So input is given to proportional and integral controller. Output of proportional and integral controller that is added over here and that is generating controlled signal over here. So output of PI controller is given by M of T and that is algebraic sum of proportional and integral controller. Proportional controller output is KP into E of T and integral controller output is ki into integration of et dt so that is what output of pi controller right here we have output in time domain usually we do analysis in frequency domain and to get transfer function we need to convert this in frequency domain by applying laplace transform if we apply Laplace transform, then this M of T, now that will be M of S, that is my output in frequency domain. Here constant is KP into E of T, now that will be E of S in Laplace domain. Plus here we have KI and integration ET dt is there. Always remember integration that will be 1 by S into function. So here single integration that is E of S divided by S. So here we have output in frequency domain you can observe. Now we need transfer function. Transfer function means output divided by input. So here output is M of S and input is E of S, right? So M of S divided by E of S will be KP plus KI divided by S. So this is transfer function of PI controller. Now I'll explain you physical understanding of PI controller. In physical understanding, I will explain output waveforms of PI controller. See in PI controller, output is controlled signal. That is a combination of output due to proportional controller and output due to integral controller. So here controlled signal that is our output of PI controller that will be algebraic sum due to proportional controller output and due to integral controller output. So here let us consider our input to PI controller that is this that is our error signal. Then what will be output of proportional controller? Output of proportional controller is simply constant into input. If I say my constant is kp that is 1.2 then output will be this input into 1.2 so that will be appearing somewhat like this so shape of output that will be as it is 
with respect to input only constant is getting multiplied with input right now let me explain output of integral controller output see integral controller output that will be as per algebraic sum of input like you see here we have input signal trajectory here we have input that is positive right so integral controller output that will be algebraic sum of input so here we have input that is positive so if my output is increasing from 0 onwards then as my input is positive my output will increase you can observe it is increasing at this instant at this instant my input is getting zero so my output that will be over here and that will be horizontal right now my input is getting negative over here so my output will decrease over here so in integral output you will be observing output that is algebraic sum of input with respect to time right so that is how proportional integral outputs are there and we in pi controller output will be algebraic sum of both of these controllers right as i have shown it over here in this block now i'll explain you significance of pi controller pi controller is a combination of proportional and integral controller pi controller eliminates steady state error and that is happening due to inclusion of integral controller inside pi controller PI controller offers better stability compared to only integral controller. See with integral controller we add one pole because of which we are having lower stability but with PI controller we have better stability compared to only integral controller. PI controller is having improved damping compared to only P and PD controller means proportional derivative controller. PI controller is having lower peak overshoot and that is happening because of inclusion of integral controller. Tuning of PI controller is easy. Tuning of PI controller is easy compared to derivative or PID or PD controller. That tuning can be done using zegler niklaus tuning or manual tuning. The implementation of PI controller is easier than that of PD and PID controllers. Now I will explain block diagram and transfer function of PI controller. Here I have considered standard second order system with PI controller. So you can observe here we have controller that is PI controller. Transfer function of PI controller is KP plus KI divided by S. Here we have standard second order system. Standard second order system transfer function is omega n square divided by s into s plus 2 zeta omega n. Here omega n that is natural resonance frequency and zeta is damping constant. Here we are dealing with to identify transfer function. We have unity negative feedback you can observe. So transfer function is g of s divided by 1 plus g s h s. See here we have unity negative feedback. So H of S that is 1, G of S that is a multiplication of these two block as these two block are there in series combination. Now let me simplify this G of S. So let us take LCM of S. So in numerator we will be having Ki plus S into Kp into omega n square divided by S into S that will be s square into s plus 2 zeta omega n so this is what the value which we have for g of s and we have a value of h of s that is 1 now i'll place these two values in this transfer function now to simplify this transfer function let us take lcm of this denominator that is s square into s plus 2 zeta omega n that we will multiply with 1 so that will get cancelled from numerator and denominator. Now let me simplify this denominator in terms of polynomial order. Here we have s square into s. So that will be s cube. And here we have s square into 2 zeta omega n. So we have 2 zeta omega n into s square. Then 
here we have s k p omega n square and then we have constant that is k i into omega n square. So this is our transfer function for standard second order system with PI controller. Now I will discuss about advantages and disadvantages of PI controller. See PI controller is having improved damping that is having lower overshoot and it is having zero offset or one can say zero steady state error. Here we have zero steady state error due to integral controller inclusion inside PI controller and because of zero steady state error here we have improved accuracy. If you talk about disadvantages then here PI controller that is having slower response because of which here we have increased rise time and here this PI controller that is not effective in oscillatory systems that one should know. So this is all about PI controller. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still if any confusion is there, just place that in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.